It's August 9th, 2015. This is um, Pumpkin Garden Update Part 3. I'm pretty sure I have a few pumpkins growing in the last two days, two, three days maybe. Um, a few of them look like they've been pollinated. And uh, I also have an aphid outbreak going on, especially on this plant. Uh, let's see if I can get a better. Uh, there's some leaves on this plant that are pretty covered. Other side, maybe. My plants are getting pretty big. They're getting pretty big. This is the time where you really gotta start worrying about things. Here we go. Well, there's a lot of aphids on this plant. Pretty much all the bottom leaves. I haven't sprayed now in about five days for, uh, oh, there's one covered. The, low, this, the lower leaves will usually have them first if you're getting aphids. Oh, this is loaded with them. Aphids and aphid eggs. There's some right there, too. Uh, I've been spraying about five days for bugs, so they came in the last five days. I also have uh, no, I haven't seen any squash vine borers. I haven't seen any frass at the bottom of my stems. <laughs> bugs. Uh, flies. Flies will be attracted to the aphids. I don't know if they want the aphid eggs or if they eat the aphids. I don't know what it is, but wherever you have aphids, you'll see a bunch of flies. So if you see a bunch of flies around your plants, check under the leaves. You probably have aphids. But, uh, I didn't see any frass. I didn't see any signs of squash vine borers yet. I I doubt I will be 100% squash vine borer uh, free. I really doubt it. But I haven't seen any signs yet. But, this worries me. Do you see this? Now, I don't know. We had a little bit of wind. Eh, about a week. A little more than a week, maybe. I don't know how long ago. Look straight across there where my finger is. Some of them, two of them, actually. Uh, two of my leaf stalks bent over and have cracks in them. But there's still no signs of squash vine borders, so I'm not sure if that's just a bad wind or what. Um, the patch is filling in really well. There's a nice straight line here. I didn't even notice that. Um, I have three plants in this row. One, two, three. Four plants in the row next to it. Three plants, four plants. That's how I spaced them. Here's another Maybe, uh, we'll maybe get pollinated tomorrow. Looks like it's going to open. Um, here's one. Here's one. Got pollinated. The flower now is falling off. Uh, usually it takes a little longer for the flower to fall off, so, mm, I hope that, you know, fully develops. There's another little female... Early on, if you're growing pumpkins, you will have a lot of females that die, like, lots of them. They will just keep dying. Don't be worried about it. It's, it's generally a normal thing for the first females to die. And even when you start getting a few that take, most pumpkins can only, or most plants can only support about two. About two pumpkins. I'm afraid my camera is going to die, so I gotta get, make this very quick. The patch is really filling in. I cut off the top of that uh, sunflower. It was um, dying. Here's a sunflower doing well. The bee on it, two bees. Got a, there's another um, female. I think that one got pollinated. Don't know. Find out tomorrow. When you when you start having females that are looking to be, you know, like they're going to be opening you want to cut down on the spraying that's why I haven't cut or that's why I haven't sprayed for bugs in five days so tonight I'm gonna to have to do a quick spray um, for aphids uh, for bugs and to get those aphids like I said 
you don't want to have an outbreak of aphids and a lot of plants are showing signs of aphids uh, under the leaves uh, the patch is really filling in nice uh, these black mats are keeping the uh, weeds away I love them they're great I'll make a quick run down to the other this is my biggest plant this is one plant right here it's huge it's enormous this plant I can't believe how big it got some of them got much, like this one, this is one plant. Some of them are getting really, really big. Again, one plant, one plant. And then some of them are pretty small, like this one over here. This one in the corner, which is really small. And it could have to do with, do, do with the sun. It's in the corner, it doesn't get nearly as much sun. Same with this one, doesn't get nearly as much sun as the others. You know, they, they get a lot more sun over here. Up here they get a lot more sun, so maybe that's the case. Uh, I'm going to make a quick run to the other area. Okay, uh, I just watered these. I actually just watered the other, other area with fertilizer. Uh, if I have enough battery time, I'll get to that. This area is doing a little weird. I think a cat went to the bathroom here, that's why there's flies here. This didn't show mm, signs of many aphids, so I think cats are going to the bathroom here. This is a small, small plant for some reason. It's stunted. And it could be just deformation, a, I'm not sure. This one's doing okay, this plant right here. This one's doing okay. This one, this one really, really well. Um, here we got a looks like a stunted one again now I actually think what's playing a factor in this is this is just manure that's just manure I didn't have uh, enough uh, I didn't have enough uh, miracle grow to mix it in so they just got manure straight manure that could that could be playing a factor mm -hmm. oh I cut out the uh, I cut out the sunflowers that were here, they were starting to die, and they were also starting to shade this area, so I just cut them out. Um, this little this little uh, plant, it again, looks a little stunted, and it's got a little pumpkin that maybe started to grow, and it's in a weird area. So, you know, I'm not sure what's going on with a couple of these seeds down here. Okay, and I just started um, fertilizing the... Uh, the garden area, the fenced-in garden area where they're growing in the tires. I use this, um, it's just kind of generic, I guess, expert garden plant food. It's, a. Uh, am not going to be able to zoom in, this, this camera just doesn't have a good macro. 153015, and, uh, I used it, mm, not last year because I didn't really have, uh, you know, I wasn't taking care of my plants, so... I used the year before, and I think the year before that, and I had pretty nice pumpkins. They weren't as big as they should have been, I think, because of vine borers, but I had pretty nice pumpkins. I, I, I'm just using this. That's just, you know, easy for me to use. I, I uh, pour as a little measuring cup with that. I pour it into here, pour it into there, mix it with a gallon, and, and I pour half a gallon on each plant. I also have, um, um, that filter right there, some kind of RV camper filter uh, for your for like an RV, but I use it for the hose. And I try to filter the uh, you know chlorine in the city water because I'm on city water here, so I try to get as much of that out, fluoride chlorine out as I can with that. That's just some of the things uh, that I do to try to you know grow the best pumpkins I can grow. Um, thanks for watching. Check back for more updates.